everyone, today is August 22nd, 2011. My name is Kadri and you are watching Heavy Metal News Weekly. So let's get straight to the news and today's first topic is Cradle of Filth. And the British band Cradle of Filth will release a new mini album entitled Evermore Darkly. Uh, and this will be released on October 10th via Peaceville Records. A follow-on from last year's triumphant Dark to Darkly Venus Versa album, the set will arrive as a CD DVD packaging including new tracks and rarities with a lengthy on their own documentary and 10 songs filmed live at this year's Grass Pop Metal meeting in Dessel, Belgium, as well as the video for the song Lilith Immaculate. The Evermore Darkly CD features brand new musical beast Thank You Lucky Stars plus a special remix of Forgive Me Father courtesy of Anthrax guitarist Rob Caggiano, an extended edition of Lilith Immaculate as well as tempered demo versions of three Darkly Darkly songs. The mini album closes with a special taster from Cradle of Filth's impending orchestra project in the form of a haunting classic reworking of a fan favorite Summer Dying Fast. Anthrax guitarist Scott Ian taped an appearance last week in makeup for an episode of the upcoming second season of AMC's zombie apocalypse drama The Walking Dead. Uh, and Ian Scott wrote on his official website that uh, his agent got the call asking if uh, Ian Scott wanted to come down and get made up to play a zombie in a webisode for AM Scenes The Walking Dead which is being directed by Greg Nicotero and uh, Scott Ian says that I couldn't say yes to this fast enough I've been wanting to do this my whole life zombies have always been my favorite genre of horror and to participate in something as killer as The Walking Dead would just be amazing and I quite agree with him because I'm a fan of The Walking Dead myself and I am anticipating the second season very much and hoping it will be as good as the first season was. But on with the news. Uh, next we are going to talk about Nikki Six. His band 6AM released a new video, This Is Gonna Hurt and uh, the song is the title track of the group's sophomore album This Is Gonna Hurt which sold around 30,000 copies in the United States in its first week of release and landed at position number 10 on the Billboard 200 chart. Uh, this Is Gonna Hurt uh, was released on May 3rd and it is an 11 track CD and it's a companion piece to 6's This Is Gonna Hurt music, photography and life through the distorted lens of Nikki Six book. And this book is a follow-up to Nikki Six's previous book, a New York Times bestseller, The Heroine Diaries. After years of hard work, the Metal Bible has, has finally been released in both English and German. The Metal Bible was made available in time for the Wacken Open Air Festival in Germany where more than 12,000 copies were distributed. Over 60,000 copies of Metal Bible's Swedish version have been made available since its first edition was published in, in 2005 and it was also printed in touch. According to a press release, the Metal Bible is a cool special Bible edition that besides the New Testament also features plenty of metalheads that share their life stories and talk about what God and Bible means to them. During Wasp's August 15 concert at Glasheim in Jevnaker, Norway, the band's main man, Blackie Lawless, led the crowd in a prayer for the victims of the July 22nd bomb attack in central Oslo and shooting rampage in Utoya Island. Anders Breivik, the man responsible for the massacre, a white native Norwegian, was described by the, Gu by the Guardian as a Christian fundamentalist with a deep hatred for multiculturalism, 
of multiculturalism of the left and of Muslims. And prior to launching into the song Heavens Hung in Black, during the encore portion of Wasp set, Blackie told the audience. And this is what he said. We started the, this leg of the tour in Greece in late July and we saw things down there we've never seen before. And as we went through Europe we saw things happening in almost every place we went we had never seen before. All of that started about a month ago with what happened about 30 minutes from here. And it's a part of this continent and I've been coming here for many many years and there's things I'm seeing now that I just don't recognize and it's disturbing me greatly. And for those I believe 78 people that were murdered here last month I want to do something I've never done before. A lot of you people may know that I'm a Christian and I know some of you here may not believe in that but I want to lead the people tonight that believe in this in a prayer, a very short prayer. For those of you who don't believe this, please give us a moment and don't say anything. And this is how Black Lawless of Wasp uh, commemorated the 78 people that died on Otoya Island. And again some bad news, uh, at least three people were killed when stage equipment towers, a tent and a tree collapsed after a wind and hailstorm hit the Buckelbop festival in Belgium. And in addition more than 70 people were injured and the festival was halted with as many as 60,000 attendees having left the mudfield grounds. And, according, and this is according to the Associated Press. And Jokri Masahi Mahasin, the organizer of the festival, told reporters that we have for now put the festival on hold until we understand the complete situation. Uh, and uh, Death Don't Bullet for My Valentine, Bring Me the Horizon, Suicidal Tendencies, Apocalyptica and Within the Nations are among the artists who were scheduled to perform at this year's edition of Bukelbop, which is an annual festival which was launched already in 1985. According to the Associated Press, vocalist guitarist Adam Nurgle Darsky of Polish extreme metal band Behemoth was found innocent of offending religious feelings in connec connection with a September 2007 incident when he reportedly called the Catholic Church the most murderous cult on the planet during the band's performance in Gdania and tore up a copy of the Bible calling it, calling it a book of lies. A Polish judge ruled on August 18th that Tarski's ripping up of a Bible during a show was a form of artistic expression consistent with the style of his band. Judge Krzysztof Wieszkowski said he considered Tarski's action as a form of art. He added that the court had no intention of limiting freedom of expression or the right to criticize religion. According to the official website of Metallica's project with legendary singer and former Velvet Underground frontman Lou Reed, the musician's collaborative album will be released on November 1st in North America and one day earlier, which is October 31st, in the rest of the world. Italian dark metal band Grave Worm have set Fragments of Death as the title of their new album which is due out on October 14th via Nuclear Blast Records and this is the follow-up to their 2009 album Diabolical Figures which was recorded in July at the Dream Sound Studios in Munich, Germany and was mastered by Jan Vachis. According to a press release the songs are about death in its thousand faces which is also reflected in the album title and cover art. Musically, the album can be seen as a mixture of the best of the last four records with some old school roots and definitely darker and definite and the album is definitely darker than its predecessors. And lastly, Swedish metallers Sabaton have set Kings of War as the working title of their next album, which is tentatively due out at the end of 2012 
via Nuclear Blast Records and Sabaton will play their final show of it, their current tour on December 18th in Antwerpen, Belgium. So these were all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting. And I would also like to say that please check out metalrules.com for any news, for new interviews and for some cool reviews. So uh, definitely go and see metalrules.com. And to end today's news, I wanted to say that I myself had today a really busy day which was full of uh, uh, phone calls and dealing with all sorts of problems and I just feel quite tired at the end of this day so my day was was a busy day but I wanted to ask how was your day and please leave the answers in the comment section below so how was your day and uh, of course, as always, the links to the bands I talked about today are in the description box below and all the links to my personal websites and accounts everywhere and Twitter are also in the links below. So thank you so much for watching again and I will see you again next Monday with new news. So bye!